Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I just want you to see, see how this video that I just did, the video is about an hour and 30 minutes, and it says it's going to take two hours and five minutes to upload. An hour ago, it said an hour and 15 minutes. It was at 30%. I went out to do my laundry, put them in the water and all that stuff to get them to wish around and all that stuff. And when I go out there, I come back in after checking the air conditioning unit because the air conditioning was blowing a little warm. So I wanted to recharge the unit and put some dye in it to see if I had a leak. I come back in and this is completely shut down. It's saying reload the page. <laughs> okay. And I'm going, okay, that doesn't make any sense. I wonder if it finished. Then it said two hours and some odd minutes. Now you see how it's an hour and 54 minutes now? This is what YouTube does. Now, for those of you who believe that YouTube doesn't do whatever it wants, let me tell you what YouTube did. When uploading videos, and I'm going to accept YouTube's offer. Say, drag and drop your files to upload. Videos will be private until you publish them. Select files. Then after you select files, it says, by submitting, I don't submit to nobody. Your videos to YouTube, I'm not giving you authority over my videos. You don't get to own my copywritten material. This is original comment, uh, content. Excuse me. You acknowledge that you agree to YouTube's terms and conditions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called a... Um, what do you call not shrink wrap but this is called a um, click okay it's it's usually click and slide or uh, shrink wrap this is one of those clicking agreements where you click on a particular thing and you agree to their terms so what I have to do with YouTube is I have to now correct this stupidity now let's do something about their copyright because I'm playing this music in the background that's played on public radio go ahead public commercial radio that you don't pay to listen to the radio now they, they come up with some rules and they, they have the right to do that they come up now it says should you upload videos on this channel you should only do it if you're authorized to use them. This means that you should not upload other people's content. Of course, I would never upload somebody else's content unless it's for informational or newsworthy purposes. Well, hold on. Let's make sure that I can do that. This is called the Fair Use Act. United States has a law called the Fair Use Act, and it allows you to reuse copywritten material. Now, it says copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission. However, Fair use is determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Actually, it is not. Educational is educational. Nobody gets to determine educational. As long as somebody is educated by the material under the Fair Use Act, that's all it is. It's not whether or not YouTube determines that the information is fair use. YouTube is not the court. They don't get to determine that. Well, YouTube says, well, it's our platform. We get to determine, yes, but you can't allow another person to do what I am doing and then restrict me because you don't like the information people are being educated with. Okay? See, that's where you violate the law. You hear that wind right there. I needed that wind because it is 95 degrees and I just came from outside. And I've been sweating and I've been wanting to go grab a towel or something because, woo, man, it's hot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the perspiration. This is just like... Uh, most people don't realize when you sweat that's your body's way of cooling yourself down that's how I know it's hot that's how I know to stay hydrated when I start sweating okay because now my body is working overtime to stay cool so now I gotta stay hydrated that's why I don't get heat stroke anymore all right fair use is determined on a case-by-case -case basis different countries have different rules United States works of commentary am I not commenting on this stuff Criticism? Am I not criticizing research? Am I not doing research? Teaching? Am I not teaching people what the law says? And news? Am I not reporting on what's going on currently? It's not might be considered. You see how they use the word might? 
they, they use that word in certain circumstances. Excuse me? Who determines that? But it can depend on the situation. Who determines the situation? YouTube says that it will determine the situation. So while a news channel like uh, NBC or CNC, CNN or CNBC, they say that those particular channels can republish information. They can even play music in the background, and that's newsworthy information, and it's copywritten. They say that I can't. Don't worry about it. I'll be creating a general complaint form for violation of constitutional rights. Const when I say constitutional rights, notice that I'm qualifying that statement by saying constitutionally secured rights. There is no such thing as a constitutional right for a citizen of the United States of America. United States of America, citizens of the United States do not have constitutional rights because the Constitution is written by the people, for the people, other people, so on and so forth. So the people can't give each other a right. That's why the Constitution only secured those rights that were already there at the founding. So, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why YouTube took care of its content is because of people like me putting music in the background of our videos. What they were saying is that we might as well make money. So they worked out a deal with the major companies to monetize, to advertise, and to receive part of the advertisement revenue. That's why you will see advertisement on my videos. However, there are several videos done showing you how to get rid of those uh, so-called advertisements. And that's what they don't like. I'm not here to tell you about that. I'm here to tell you that they allow those videos up on YouTube to get rid of advertisement. Any problem you have, like somebody was telling me, well, I'm having this problem. I, go to YouTube. Type it in. Somebody's done a video. Somebody like me has done a video on it. Okay? That's what I said. YouTube cannot afford to take those videos down because this is where the YouTube organization got their reputation before being taken over by Google. Okay, if you go to the very beginning, this is my song, y'all. I just, I just can't tell you how much I love this song, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, sometimes you got to spin around and around to realize that you'll be around. Ladies and gentlemen, the spinners in I'll Be Around. Um, getting back to this, ladies and gentlemen, when they were... In 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, they were not blocking my videos because of the music. Yes, I had to file copyright claims, but every single one of them, I let them know that this is educational. Show me where I'm not showing people or explaining something to people. They don't get to determine what's educational. I don't need to be a law school student to talk about the law, as everybody's required to know the law. So, let's do this again. We can close this. I just wanted to show you how they do that stupid stuff. That's why you got to check. Now, you see how now it's an hour and 28 minutes? We started at an hour and 14 minutes putting this video up. It was 33%. 10% is up. That's typical. It won't be an hour and 28 minutes, but you saw how it was two hours when we first started this. That's what YouTube does. Right now, their algorithm is going over everything that's said in the video as it's uploading. That's why it's taking so long, because they're scrutinizing the video to make sure that I don't put out certain secrets that they don't want out there. Don't worry about it. The secrets are in the information so that I can determine whether or not it's because of that information they're putting out. As you see, how to stop 90% of all foreclosures and repossessions now? If following that information doesn't stop foreclosures, nothing will. Okay, I'll make that statement today and I will stand by it. If following this information doesn't stop foreclosures, nothing will. By the way, just so you know, underneath that video is the link to the foreclosure complaint section. I have to now shut this video because I do have to get some rest. I haven't gotten any rest yet and I want to get some rest. Uh, it's 3 o'clock, probably about 5 o'clock I'll get back up and I'll get started again with finishing up the document of all documents to help get rid of the foreclosure thing and that's this document okay the claim of alleged criminal conduct 
remember, you don't make any demands. You don't make any statements. You will say things like, it is believed, or it is assumed, or it is presumed, or it is alleged. Those are your key phrases. Go back, remember them, write them down, get used to them. All right? All right, and for those of you who are new to my channel, those of you who ain't been around, like the spinner said, understand, this is the email. If you want to contact me, you will contact me with this one. That's why it says to get in touch. When it says no other emails are to be sent to this email, it means that. I'm going to stop telling you people, and I'm going to start just blocking you on all of my emails. Okay, my emails are not up there for your benefit. They're there as a courtesy. You don't have a right to that information. So if you take advantage, oh, and then if you want to email me, we have one guy who's emailed five different emails. Not realizing that we read all the emails. He's not going to be given a warning. I'm going to give him one more opportunity to do it again and see what happens. And then we're going to stop dealing with him. He will not be able to communicate any further. We're not playing that. You don't get to protest by sending us a ton of emails. That's what I do to people. That's why we let you know in advance. You don't get to do that. You will contact the right department, the proper office. All right. Uh, but we'll talk about all the other stuff later. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to pay attention and listen. Have a good day, everybody. We will uh, get back with you when we can. Adios.